lecture on organic reaction mechanism and we are continuing with the aromatic electrophilic substitution and in this lecture we will discuss about Welsmeyer reaction. Welsmeyer reaction is very important uh, reaction uh, as an example of electrophilic aromatic substitution and this is also known as Welsmeyer hack reaction. Basically, uh, in this case, the uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution takes place in case of uh, electron rich arenes, the uh, arenes which are having electron leasing groups attached uh, to the aromatic ring, which can be shared with the aromatic ring. So, electron uh, rich arenes uh, they are converted into aryl aldehydes or ketones as the product in presence of a substituted amide like NN dimethyl formamide and uh, phosphorus oxychloride. So, uh, these uh, basically this uh, phosphorus oxychloride and uh, the substituted amide for uh, for example, DMF NN dimethyl formamide they react with each other. Uh, to give us uh, a Welsmeyer reagent and this reagent uh, uh, reacts with the uh, aromatic system to give us these types of uh, aldehydes or ketones as the product. So, uh, what we can say is that these two reagents they react in the first step to create this type of reagent. Uh, which act as an electrophile uh, for uh, substitution in the electron rich arene uh, compounds. So, basic mechanism of this reaction is that in the first step uh, the lone pair present or the NN di substituted amide uh, shifts to this uh, carbon and it forms a carbon nitrogen double bond and this oxygen attacks the uh, electrophilic phosphorus of the phosphorus oxychloride to give us this type of intermediate. And uh, then uh, uh, this negative charge on oxygen uh, gets displaced again to form a uh, phosphorus oxygen double bond and one of the chloride group act as a leaving group and is removed as Cl negative and then this Cl negative which ha has been removed in this step this will attack uh, this carbon nitrogen double bond to neutralize the positive charge on this nitrogen and then again the lone pair present on the uh, this nitrogen forms a carbon nitrogen double bond and this uh, dichlorophos uh, phosphate is removed from uh, this uh, intermediate and this is how the Welsmeyer reagent is produced and this Welsmeyer reagent is uh, then attacked uh, by the aromatic system which is rich in uh, electron density. So, uh, this electron leasing uh, group present on the aromatic ring shares its lone pair of electrons with the aromatic system and uh, this Welsmeyer reagent uh, because of the positive charge on nitrogen this uh, due to inductive effect this carbon act as uh, electropositive part. So, this is an electrophilic carbon due to the presence of uh, uh, positive charge on the adjacent nitrogen atom and that is why this aromatic system attacks uh, this electrophile and this type of intermediate is formed then uh, with the removal of proton the aromatization uh, again takes place and then this intermediate form undergoes uh, hydrolysis and we will get aldehydes or ketones as the product depending upon whether uh, we are having H here and if instead of H we are having alkyl substituted amides then we will get ketones as the product. 
then there are many examples uh, which are available uh, for this uh, Welsmeer reaction. Uh, for example, uh, this uh, reaction is uh, very much uh, shown by uh, electron rich dienes and trienes also in addition to aromatic systems. For example, if we are having this type of triene, then Welsmeer reagent in presence of phosphorus oxychloride at room temperature can react with this triene and this will add as an electrophile to this carbon-carbon uh, double bond and aldehydes they will be formed as the product. The mechanism of this reaction is same only difference is that this system is not an aromatic system but an open chain uh, triene system. So uh, this will also give us uh, Wilsmeer products. Similarly, these types of uh, dihydropyridines, uh, they also undergo direct uh, Wilsmeer formulation in presence of N and dimethylformamide and phosphorus oxychloride uh, in presence of uh, dichloromethane as the solvent and uh, formulation takes place at this position of the dihydropyridine. The mechanism uh, of uh, Wilsmeer formulation uh, formulation is the same as is seen in case of uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution action. Then uh, in case of uh, these types of beta methyl enones also the Wilsmeer reaction can take place to give us carbonyl systems as the product and here uh, the shifting of the double bond from here to here can lead to the formation of alpha beta unsaturated aldehydes as the product. So, these are uh, some of the variations which have been noticed that in addition to aromatic system and uh, in other systems also uh, this uh, Wilsmeer formulation has been achieved. The mechanism in all these cases is similar to what we have seen in case of lactophilic aromatic substitution reactions. Then uh, some more recent examples uh, which have been reported uh, in recent years in some journals. Uh, for example, uh, in case of uh, one vinyl two carbaldehydes, they can be formed in case of pyrroles. Uh, by uh, these types of uh, Wilsmeer reactions. So, N and dimethylformamide in presence of dichloromethane and phosgene, they react at room temperature to give us these types of products which are formed by the same mechanism as we have seen in case of Wilsmeer reaction. Again, uh, here DMF uh, will react with phosgene to create the Wilsmeer reagent, this will add to this aromatic system pyrrole <coughs> at this position and formalization, uh, formylation will take place at this carbon. <coughs> Similarly, uh, in case of uh, electron rich aromatics, uh, they can be converted into aromatic nitriles under these conditions uh, uh, through Wilsmeer reagent. So, phosphorus oxychloride and DMF when uh, reacted under these conditions uh, ranging from 40 to 100 degree centigrade when they are heated for 1 to 10 hours depending upon the substitution of this group, we will get uh, uh, these types of intermediate and you can see that these intermediates are nothing but the Wellsmere reagent. And when uh, this Wellsmere reagent uh, created uh, through this reaction is uh, reacted with iodine in aqueous ammonia instead of uh, hydrolysis, then this uh, group is transformed into nitriles. So, instead of aldehydes and ketones, a modification can be done that we can synthesize nitriles through modification of Wilsmeer reaction, where instead of uh, hydrolyzing this Wilsmeer reagent, we can oxidize these in presence of iodine and aqueous ammonia to give aromatic nitriles as the product. And uh, 
Similarly, one more uh, example which has been reported re recently by Wilsmere reagent uh, is conversion of uh, these types of uh, enamides having carbon-carbon uh, triple bonded amides. Uh, they can be converted into dihydrofurane two ones. So, uh, instead of aldehydes and ketones, cyclic lactones they can be formed from uh, substituted amide through Wilsmeyer reagent. The mechanism is same. Uh, in the first step, phosphorus oxychloride reacts with DMF to generate the Wilsmeyer reagent, and then that Wilsmeyer reagent reacts with the uh, enamide to give us these types of products dihydrofuranones as the product through cyclization of this carbon carbon triple bonded compounds. Similarly, formulation of uh, polyaromatic systems like anthracene can also take place at uh, 9 position uh, if we use uh, N methyl and phenyl formamide as the uh, Wilsmeyer reagent uh, uh, which reacts with uh, phosphorus oxychloride to generate Wils substituted Wilsmeyer reagent and then this adds to the uh, carbon 9 of the anthracene to give us uh, 9 anthracene carboxyldehyde as the product and the mechanism of this reaction is again same as we have seen in case of other uh, electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions. And here ortho dichlorobenzene is used as solvent when this is reflexed at uh, 120 degree centigrade in pr and hydrolysis is done in presence of sodium acetate and water. Then uh, we can also synthesize pyridines uh, through this Wilsmeyer reaction. So, if uh, we are having these types of uh, 3 amino methylene pentane 2 4 dions uh, and when they are reacted under uh, Wilsmeyer conditions, the Wilsmeyer reagent will be formed and this will react with uh, these 2 4 dions where uh, if this R is methyl group then we will get these types of pyridine systems whereas if this R is phenyl group we will get these types of uh, pyridine uh, ketones as the product. So, uh, mechanism here again is same only addition is that the uh, product formed undergoes uh, cyclization to give us pyridine systems as the product. So, in case of uh, uh, substrate where this R is uh, phenyl group, we will get 3 benzoyl 4 chloro pyridine as the product through Wilsmeyer reaction. So, these are the references uh, which have been used for preparing this uh, lecture. Thank you very much.